County. Today is Friday, October the 11th, and um, remember I'm out today because my daughter is having her shoulder surgery. Uh, this had it this morning, so hopefully I'm sure everything has gone well. Uh, it says to please place your math homework in a grading pen on your desk ready to check, uh, and to on your bell work page solve the following problem. So go ahead and pause the video, give everyone a chance to get their homework out, find something to check with. It's not a pencil or borrow one from my uh, grading tub and solve your barrel work problem. Once everyone's had a chance to do that, start the video again. All right, so the barrel work problem was negative four and a half divided by negative three. So when we're dividing mixed numbers, the first thing we're going to do is change them to improper fractions. So either using Texas popcorn or whatever method works for you, four times 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 more is 9, over 2, so this becomes negative 9 halves divided by negative 3 over 1. So now, remember when we are dividing fractions, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor, which is the second fraction. So this becomes negative 9 halves times negative 1 third. And here we can see that we've got some numbers we can simplify. Both 3 and 9 have a common factor of 3, so we can divide 3 by 3 one time, and there are 3 groups of 3 and 9. That's all the simplifying we can do, so we're going to go ahead and multiply. 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times 1 is 2. The signs are the same, so the answer is going to be positive. Negative times negative is positive. So the answer I'm looking for is 3 halves. You can write that as a mixed number if you would like to, so one and a half is fine. All right, so go ahead and put your bell work away. Make sure your homework is out and something to check with, and let's go ahead and check homework. Pause the video at any point that you need to. Quick reminder that the test for this chapter that we're in right now is next Friday, a week from today. Remember, there's no school on Monday or Tuesday. On Wednesday, we'll practice some more with all four operations. We'll review on Thursday, and we will test on Friday. All right, let's do a quick homework check. All right, number one, six elevenths. Number two, negative two fifths. Number three, negative four. Number four, negative 56 and 25 hundredths. This was the one that was incorrect on the scrambled answers at the bottom that we fixed yesterday. Number five, negative 13 48ths. Number six, 5 18ths. Again, pause the video at any point if you need to. Number seven, negative 233 and 1 tenth. Number eight is negative nine. Number nine, she had six cakes left. You have to have cakes, six cakes. If you don't have cakes, it's minus one because you didn't put your unit. Just one point, okay? Number 10 is $2.75. You've got to have a dollar sign. You don't have to write anything about gallons per gallon, but you need the, the, the dollar sign. Otherwise, it's minus one point. Number 11, 5 fourteenths. You could say 5 fourteenths of pizza. This is These are very similar to last the homework from the night before. Um, and then number 12 would be 74 cents. You need a dollar sign. Otherwise, you need to take one point off for not having units. All right? You should have already written the assignment on your grade sheet, so you're just needing to record the grade. So pause the video, give everyone a chance to write this grade on their grade sheet, which you're going to turn in on your way out the door. Put the homework in your binder, and then um, start the video again. All right, so in Chapter 4, we have been taking the information we learned in Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 and putting it together. All right, again, nothing new, just combining rules. So we've learned how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide positive and ra negative rational numbers. So again, I just want to quickly go over the rules, and then we'll play bingo. It says, what rules do you need to solve this problem? Well, you need to remember the division rules, which say that we're going to convert our divisor into a whole number to make the division easier. And then once we get our quotient, we're going to remember that a negative divided by a negative is going to be positive. The signs are the same, the answer is positive.
Notice we're not solving these. We're just, I just want you to listen. On this problem, we're going to remember that we're going to, when we see subtraction, we're going to add the opposite. So this will become one-third plus five-thirds. And then with fractions, we've got to make sure we have a common denominator, which we do. So we're just going to add numerators and keep the denominator. On this one, we're going to remember with decimals that we need to, in addition, we're going to line up our decimals. That's really important that our place values line up. With our integer rules, we're going to notice that the signs are the same, so we're just going to add and keep the sign. Here, this is very similar to the bell work problem. So when we're dividing mixed numbers, we're going to convert our mixed number into an improper fraction, and then we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction, of the, second, of the divisor. And then at the end, we're going to remember our integer rules. Negative divided by positive is negative. Remember, if the signs are different, the answer is negative. All right, so for the remainder of the class period, you're going to play bingo. Remember, you made bingo boards yesterday in class, so our guest teacher is going to hand those out. Make sure you get the one that you created. You're going to um, solve the problems, <coughs> excuse me, either on the back of the page, or if you'd like to use the dry erase marker to work the problems out on your desk, you're welcome to do that, but you need to work the problems out. Um, we're we're going to actually shoot for blackout, so you're trying to get every uh, problem or every answer on your board marked out. So you're going to need something to mark that out with. A pencil is fine. A pen that you use to grade your homework with is fine as well. All right? So pay attention. Help each other if you get stuck. Use your rules if you need your purple notes um, that we've been using all week. Take those out so you can use those as a reference if you need them. All right? Um, at the end of the period, make sure you clean up. Make sure that you give Mr. Cheek the grade sheet and the bingo board as you're walking out the door. Remember, it's Friday, so there's no homework. You have a four-day weekend. I hope you have a fantastic four-day weekend. I look forward to seeing everybody on Wednesday. Bye.